Hello, uh, this is mostly nebula and I've used grey paper when I thought well, I won't have to do too much and then realised that um, not doing too much means you get, you get the gravelly effect of the side of the chalk which really needs rubbing into so you need a couple of layers of chalk unfortunately to uh, create a, a smooth tone <laughs> so I, I ended up having to cover it anyway I thought well I'll use the grey paper to uh, to be the background because the the blackness of space is not black in this particular picture there's the dust cloud of the nebula or the or the colors of the background of the nebula that, that are obscuring the actual darkness so um the stars are poking out through and they've got this kind of aura around them i'm not sure whether i actually managed to do the aura perhaps i will go back to this picture and put a little floofy aura around each one of the stars but it might drive me mad who knows i've done it in the past but with fewer stars this is out near this is out near colonia so there's an awful lot of stars involved. So it might take me a little while to go around all the stars. This is quite a nice purpley, pinky, bluish nebula. I like it. Uh, the commander that took this photograph was on the way to Colonia. She said it's about what, 100 light years before you get there. So, so make of that what you will. I mean, you could sit and look through EDSM and put your filter on. on the, you know, when you look in the galaxy map on EDSM, which is, I'm not sure whether it's open at the moment. I think they're still updating it. They're faffing around with it, making it extra pretty. But prior to the faffing around, they had filters which you could apply to uh, highlight certain things and bring them up on the, on the galaxy map. So you could potentially tick planetary nebulas and nebula areas as a filter. And then you could, you could zoom your way across the map in 3D and rotate it and have a little look and see if you could find this nebula for yourself. She gave it the name Dragonhead Nebula, although she said it just had some generic code. I've, I can see it. The more I did of it, the more I looked at it, I kind of see that that blue sort of suggested the inside of the mouth of the dragon to me. And, uh, and you've got the, uh, the, the reddish, pinkish back of the, of the dragon rising up behind this uh, little potato moon or whatever this is. Uh, I really enjoyed it, actually. looks like the commander went exploring in a anaconda. By the looks of it there's an anaconda seen from below so you've got this um, this angle of the uh, the rear engines that you can spot if you look carefully and uh, the anaconda's pretty dark i made it lighter than it perhaps was and tried to do all the little details but then when i actually looked at the original picture again i, I noticed that uh, you can't see most of these details so i've made it a little bit too fussy Mostly the details are only there when you lighten the picture and zoom in. <laughs> so I should have been more subtle with it, but I'm not too worried because it, it's it's quite choppy anyway. It's got that kind of, it's got a bit of a, a chunky quality to it that's perhaps not what I would normally aim at. But in this picture with the diaphanous quality of the nebula stretching out and dissipating into the space, you've got you've got this these harsh lines that I've left that they, they, they don't look so bad. And I quite like the... Uh, the untampered colours of the engine trails because they pick out the blue in the nebula which is quite nice with with anything when you've got this background colour you've got um, the colour reflects on the metal of the ship so this this conda's got a bit of a, a pinkish gleam to it from the background colour when I looked again afterwards on a different monitor I've got three monitors and they don't match and they're all second hand and the one I used to look at it is the middle one and then I, I, I put it up on the left hand monitor and it had completely <laughs> I looked the whole of this sky as, as quite quite pinkish actually so I ended up going back to it later and putting a bit more pink on I, I really need to remember to do that in future <laughs> to check it's all good though there's so many nice nebulae in between uh, the bubble and colonia to be honest it's, it's really quite a rich territory and the nearer you get in towards the center of the galaxy the more there is to look at and you just hop from pretty sight to pretty sight i'm i'm not particularly successful at finding new things myself but i certainly enjoy seeing what other people have found anyway uh well thank you for watching me do it i, I really always appreciate it it's so nice that people take an interest it really is cool <laughs> thank you bye